What's up guys, we're back. It's hot. It's gonna be 103 degrees tomorrow. I think we hit like 96 degrees here today. It's August 6th, uh, Saturday, and I'm staying hydrated. I'm gonna try this guy out. But what I wanted to show you guys is this. I guess reeds are currently being picked and being sold right now at some of the local farm stands that I go to. There's one right off of Van Buren. Last year, these used to be two for five. Let's see if I can show you. And this year, they they went up. They're three dollars each, so two for six. Still not a bad deal. Um, if you like reeds, they're available. Go pick it up which is uh, something that I'm gonna be enjoying here after I let this thing ripen up a little bit. But something I also wanted to show you guys, I bought a garden hose, 50 footer, $6, Aldi's. I mean, watch out, Pro Series, it's a premium. Yeah, I don't know about being premium, and but it's like this, uh, woven material right and it's supposed to be kink free and for six dollars i ended up buying two it's a 50 footer so if you can find a deal like this i mean i think it's a good deal go look for it and go find it but today since it's been kind of hot and tomorrow we're going to get to like 103 104 my plan is to reapply uh surround so as you can see Here's the surround. This is what the leaves kind of look like. And I got new leaves kind of coming in. This is my gem avocado, by the way. So the new leaves that are coming in are kind of unprotected right now. So I'm semi thinking of not doing it, but it doesn't hurt to apply this around. Might be worth it to do that. So if you guys are following along, if you guys are in Southern California like me and it looks like the next like eight to nine days we're going to be in the high 90s um, tomorrow especially it's going to be like 103 104 degrees where i'm at um, in the ie you guys may want to go out water your avocados protect them and apply the surround also so it's a good practice to kind of keep these leaves protected with the surround and then it keeps them from drying out and it also it's kind of like sunblock right so but today we're gonna try to do a little barbecuing and we're definitely gonna stay hydrated so hopefully you guys are having a good weekend and oops oh no oh well all good all right so for reference I got these three avocados at Aldi's or like a dollar each roughly a dollar nine cents each so I weighed them, they're a pound of about two ounces. And here is one of the reeds that we just got. So this reed is a pound three ounces. So three dollars, three dollars and thirty cents. And then this one, one pound two ounces. So just for reference so here's my gem if you guys are keeping count it's growing nicely I initially told you guys I had 14 fruit I am down to two here's one there's another so 12 dropped down to two not sure if it, they're all gonna stick but we'll see but at that farm stand that I was just talking about, they had probably like a dozen Nabals that are in 15 gallons. They're about $90 each. Um, if I looked at the markings on the side of the, the container, it looks like it's grown at Maddox. So I'm actually considering getting one of those. Um, Nabal, $90, 15 gallon, and they were actually really good size. So. Um, it had a N and a Z, so for me that means Nabal grown on Zutano rootstock. So that's kind of what I'm seeing. 
Unfortunately, I didn't take a picture of it, which I should have, but uh, if you guys are looking for it in the ball, there's some there. Remember, you gotta stay hydrated. Make sure your avocados are hydrated. This is what I'm doing, pineapple, resin, hazy, double IPA with pineapple. It's pretty good. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Have a good weekend. See ya.